Hello, fellow anime lovers. I'm back with an exciting video, and today I'll be recounting the epic showdown between Big Mom, Law, and Kid. If you're new here, consider hitting that red subscribe button so you won't miss any of our awesome content. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to show your support by giving it a thumbs up. Your likes help us reach more anime enthusiasts like you. After the intense rooftop fight, Kid and Law found themselves on the performance floor for the second round, facing off against Big Mom. However, during the battle, Kid suddenly collapsed, leaving himself vulnerable to Big Mom's attacks. Meanwhile, Killer was engaged in a fight with Hawkins, and he managed to stab Hawkins, unknowingly affecting Kid on the other side. Seizing the opportunity, Big Mom called upon Hera and Napoleon to strike at Kid, who was unable to defend himself due to his weakened state. In a courageous move, Law stepped in to distract Big Mom and used his countershock ability against her. However, before he could be attacked by Prometheus, Kid struggled to regain control of himself. Big Mom then forcefully brought Napoleon down, striking the ground and incapacitating both Kid and Law. Kid realized that his current condition was more than just a headache, and he grew frustrated. This was a shining chance to defeat a Yonko, and if he were to die like this, his pirate career would be forever mocked. Even Big Mom remarked on how dire Kid appeared, as if he were on the verge of death. Unknown to Kid, the cause of his agony was Hawkins, who had been striking his own head against a wall. Eventually, Killer managed to defeat Hawkins, breaking the spell and relieving Kid from his suffering. However, Big Mom continued her rampage, pushing both Law and Kid to their limits. Realizing the urgency of the situation, Law and Kid decided it was time to unleash their awakened devil fruit abilities. Law made a seemingly harmless incision on Big Mom, causing a powerful shockwave to emanate from within her, making even the incredibly durable Big Mom bleed. Taking advantage of this opening, Kid used his awakened devil fruit ability to turn Big Mom into a giant magnet, attracting every bit of nearby metal towards her and further incapacitating her. After being crushed under several tons of weight, it seemed unlikely that even someone as formidable as Big Mom could survive such an attack. Curious about the duration of Kid's magnetism ability, Law inquired, but Kid remained unwilling to answer. However, it didn't take long before Big Mom emerged from the rubble, clearly enraged. She posed a question to the nearby beast pirates, asking if they would offer their lives or Ashuruko, red bean soup. Unfortunately, as they had run out of food, Big Mom claimed their souls instead. The beings that had previously struck her now transformed into an army of homies, but this was insufficient for Big Mom. She was ready to take the fight seriously and sacrificed a year of her own lifespan to become even more terrifyingly powerful and larger than before. Decades had passed since she had experienced pain of such magnitude. This was the most serious and dangerous state we had seen Big Mom in so far. Recognizing Law, Kid, and Luffy and their ambitions to claim their thrones, Big Mom decided to demonstrate the true power of an emperor. On the live floor, Big Mom went on a rampage, overpowering Kid and Law, while their respective crews pleaded with her for mercy. Big Mom, however, laughs at the patheticness of their begging and uses Tenman Dage's Tenjin to defeat the two crews. She then intended to ride Hira back up to the roof to assist Kaido in finishing off Luffy, having deduced that their battle was still ongoing. However, before she could depart, Law rose to his feet and unleashed his formidable new attack, Kroom, Anesthesia, extending his sword and impaling Big Mom through her arm and head. Big Mom froze in shock, and onlookers believed Law had killed her. He followed up with another electric shock using shock will, causing Big Mom to bleed once more. The metal homies retaliated, but they were drawn towards Kid, who surprisingly stood his ground. Kid remarked that Big Mom's subordinate seemed fixated on taking his head, and he felt a newfound determination to fight. He fashioned a colossal bull out of metal and charged into Big Mom with Punk Cornadio, slamming her against a wall. Filled with fury, Kid declared that he believed Kaido was nearing his limit, likening both emperors to mountains eroded by rain, signifying the extensive damage they had sustained in these battles. Kid and Law proclaimed that they would not let Big Mom reach the roof, no matter what, even if it meant risking their lives. The other pirates stood in astonishment as Kid's giant metal bull, even larger than Big Mom, dominated the scene. It appeared as though Big Mom had been knocked off her feet, and the crews of Kid and the Heart Pirates erupted in cheers for their captains. Big Mom seemed utterly drained, and Kid taunted her, remarking that it must be hurting the old hag now. Law intercepted their banter, urging Kid to get ready for the second round and play his part after Law's grand attack, making it seem like he was the winner. Kid, enraged, retorted that it didn't matter at that moment, and Law responded by saying that if Kid truly believed that, he should go first next time and inflict a significant blow on Big Mom, allowing Law to finish her off. Kid fired back, refusing to be told what to do, and claimed to have an ultimate attack up his sleeve that would end Big Mom. Law counted 
encountered. Questioning what would come after the bull, whether it would be a hippo or an elephant, Kid snapped, telling Law to shut up and not pry into his secrets. As Kid and Law conversed, Big Mom started to rise again, and the other pirates noticed something happening to her arm. Big Mom sensed a shockwave from inside her body and felt as if she had cracked some ribs, cautioning them about the dangers of Law's moves. Laughing maniacally, she declared that she would bring back the bones of those who opposed her and prepared to unleash her new devastating attack. Law turned to Kid and admitted honestly that the next round would be his last. Kid responded by acknowledging that he would have no strength left after his next attack, but guaranteed that it wouldn't miss. Law interrupted, reminding Kid not to give him orders. Big Mom called upon Prometheus, Napoleon, and Hera, unleashing their combined powerful attack against Captain Kid. However, Kid blocked it confidently, declaring that it was nothing more than scrap to begin with. Big Mom retorted, belittling Kid and proclaiming that the time for dreaming was over. She boasted of sinking hundreds of people like them into the sea, reigning as emperors for decades, long before they were even weaned from their mother's milk. Big Mom attempted to slash Kid, but he used his assigned technique directly against her. She staggered backward, losing her weapons and getting stuck to the wall. Before she could rise, Kid's giant bull stood in front of her, and Kid landed a massive, powerful blow on Big Mom using his gigantic metal body. However, it was not enough to take down Big Mom, who stood up again, shocking Kid. Furious, Big Mom exclaimed why they burdened her with this extra weight on her back and prepared to unleash another attack, causing panic among the other pirates who fled for their lives. Kid stood stunned. Big Mom, now with her new fiery body, went on a rampage, causing massive destruction. Law attacked her with a giant stone, which fell directly on Big Mom, wreaking havoc. Her fiery body was extinguished, and she fell to the ground. Law leaped into the air, coating his sword with his devil fruit ability, and stabbing Big Mom directly from the front. Big Mom, frightened, recognized Law and exclaimed, Not you again, Trafalgar. Law unleashed his powerful attack as his sword cut through all the floors, leaving even Yamato shocked by the spectacle. The gigantic blade of Law's sword cleaved through Onigashima, reaching all the way to the ground. Standing on Big Mom's fallen body, Law confronted her, taunting her for thinking she was invincible and refusing to let go. Determined, Law pushed his sword even deeper, preparing to unleash his final attack. The Law Pirates pleaded with their captain to get away from Big Mom, fearing for his life, but Law stood resolute, ready to release his full power. In the next moment, he unleashed a mighty shockwave directly from Big Mom's body, piercing through the depths of Onigashima. Law's massive attack caused widespread destruction, obliterating everything in its path. Big Mom received an immensely powerful blow, draining the life from her entire body. Even Momo and Yamato, who were outside, noticed the situation unfolding. Big Mom's misery attempts to attack Law, but Law remains calm and composed. Law calmly instructs Eustace to act. In an instant, Captain Kid jumps into the air, forming a giant cannon and unleashing a massive, powerful beam. With a confident smile, Kid declares that Trafalgar Law shouldn't give him orders. He fires a laser beam directly at Big Mom causing the impact to travel through Onigashima and down to the lower ground. Law proclaims that Big Mom's era is over. Although Big Mom struggles to withstand the laser beam attack, she continues to show resilience. Captain Kid appears frustrated and angry. While Big Mom manages to hold off Kid's attacks, she addresses the pirates, calling them brats. The Kid pirates are shocked to see that she isn't being blasted down the hole. Something emerges from Big Mom's hands, and the Heart Pirates and Kid Pirates exclaim in disbelief that she's withstanding it. They realize that the two captains can't keep going. Big Mom presents them with a choice. They can either give her 50 years of their lifespan or keep it and serve her. She appears menacing as she utters the words life or slavery. The Beast Pirates are stunned by Big Mom's sole pocus ability. The Kid Pirates shout for their boss to get away from her, and other pirates begin to flee as Big Mom continues to drain their lifespans. The pirates comment that no creature on the blink of death possess such power, finding her terrifying. The Law Pirates remain concerned for their captain, urging him to get away. However, Law fearlessly stands his ground next to Big Mom, responding for them to follow their own advice. Big Mom grows increasingly frustrated with his defiance. Captain Kid boldly states that they shouldn't fear the weak words of an old hag who has outlived her life. Law prepares his attack and confidently declares that he can only imagine how hideous her death scream will be. The pirates are shocked by their lack of fear for the Emperor of the Sea. Law unleashes his attack, but suddenly Big Mom's misery awakens, proclaiming that she will save her mama. Law remains unmoved, stating that this is what his savior would have done. Kid joins in, asking if she knows when to give up the ghoster. Law utilizes his technique to nullify all sound created by Big Mom's influence, causing the pirates to exclaim that all sound vanished. Law explains that this technique extinguishes all sound influenced by her. Big Mom is shocked and bewildered by the sudden silence. Big Mom's misery exclaims that she can't hear them. Kid then prepares his attack, exerting immense pressure with his laser beam, destroying everything in its path. 
The laser beam is so powerful that Big Mom struggles and is greatly affected. She is being driven into the ground by the fierce laser beam. She cries out for Prometheus and Hera, pleading for them to save her. However, no one can hear Big Mom's voice. The laser beam attack is so powerful that it pushes Big Mom straight out of Onigashima, shattering the ground. Yamato witnesses this and is stunned by the sight. Big Mom is dying, and she speaks her last words, addressing Roger, asking why he had to say that the whole world is involved in this great era of piracy. She finds it easy for him since he's dying, but when those kids rise up all over the world, they will be the ones who have to deal with them. She pleads for Roger to tell them about the One Piece before he dies and whether it exists and what it is. As Big Mom falls from the sky, about to hit the ground, she looks down and is shocked to see that law and Kid have opened a path to a pool of lava below. She curses Law and Kid, declaring that they shouldn't assume this will kill her. And with those defiant words, she plunges into the molten lava beneath the ground. The narrator proclaims the battle between the Emperor of the Sea, Big Mom, and the new generation on the performance floor under the dome, with Eustace Captain Kid and the Surgeon of Death Law as the winners. Law and Kid, exhausted from the intense fight, fall back onto the ground. With Big Mom's defeat, the video ends here. But before you go, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.